This is my Arden backpack, ready for field deployment and testing. Okay, let's go over what we have, uh, the components that are in the, in the backpack. We have a Microsoft Surface, Windows 10 running. I have a BioAnno. Uh, this is nine amp hours, uh, 108 watt hours with Anderson power pole connectors. I have an octopus with four different Anderson power connectors that is fused as well. We'll plug into the battery. I have a Microtik SXT. And uh, let's see, we can get close up in there for you. Okay. I also have a Arden Mesh uh, portable uh, router from Microtik. Put that around. And uh, then I have a 20-foot uh, Cat5 cable. I have a 4-foot, I think it's 4-foot, might be 6 feet, a Cat5 cable. I have a Grandstream phone here. Put that over for you. And this is the model GXP21. Six zero it runs 12 volts and uh, one amp, and on the back plug is 12 volt DC, LAN, and PC. Okay, what we're going to do is take the bioano battery here um, that we previously charged because you need power in it. I'm going to plug the octopus in. You can use any type of power distribution supply that that might work for you there's all types of different brands this is just an easy lightweight solution okay next what we're going to do is plug in the app plug remember it has to go if you if you try that way it's not going to work that's a good thing about anderson's okay it's plugged in next we're going to Plug that into the hat. I'm trying to film it as well. That's why it's a little hard and awkward. Okay, so we have that going and we're going to move the battery out of the way. Okay, so that's running off onto the side there. And the reason I like to plug the hat in first is so that it has a chance to uh, get warmed up and connect. It, it is running, it's, it's running its own software. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and take the next plug and that's going to be the DC plug. We're gonna take the DC plug and plug it into the back of the DC 12 volt. And we're gonna go ahead and plug our LAN plug in here. So we got our power in our LAN. And we have a nice little stand here that just helps things uh, not bunch up as well. But I usually take it apart when I'm packing everything up. So I need to slip that in there. So that's good to go. I flip this around and you can see that it's starting to boot and it. The SXT is plugged in to the PoE part number five and we're getting power and signal connection. So we're stoked. The HAP is booting up. Uh, we see some indicator lights going right now. Port five is what's going into the SXT right now. And that's a power over ethernet that's been um, enabled in the firmware of it. And port number four, is the IP phone. This HAP AC light is now serving Wi-Fi over to the surface, but now we have to connect it. So we're looking for the right 
one kh6 ml dash truck dash arden is the one that we're looking for great kh6 ml truck arden and we're going to connect as we come here this is the address except i want to point out something very critical um https will not work it just needs to be um straight either http um or just take it out altogether. If you try to connect this way, it will error out and delete that. And hit enter. It's gonna pull up our status page. And we're now connected into, this is now serving Wi-Fi to the surface. Our status. And because I'm at home and I have another box, another HAP AC light, uh, they are connecting, uh, they are meshing together. So that's, that's really cool. We're gonna click on the SXT. That's gonna load that page up. And once again, that's connected to this device here. What we'd wanna do is put it in Wi-Fi scan mode. You know, if the login routes your main, um, username most of the time unless you've reassigned it to something else whatever a password you have it assigned to okay so now what it's doing is it's scanning uh, for any other Arden uh, node and we're not seeing anything because I'm at home and we're not pointed at anything but we'll do another episode and show you uh, where that is Okay, people asked about direct dial let's go ahead on this phone at least Let's go ahead and we're going to start by hitting uh, star and then it's going to say direct dial on the bottom here, direct IP. We'll go back by it and then we can enter in the item. So we can go 10 star, um, which turns it into a period, 20 star, 54 star, 170. And that should ring the phone on my desk. And so let's dial. Yep. So you can hear it dialing in the back there. So direct dial does work on this phone and that's how it works. I highly recommend having a physical phone, an IP phone, but for testing as well as experimentation, I also have a program called micro sip installed on the surface and I can dial and receive direct IP calls from there as well as have it programmed as a uh, PBX into PBX numbers. Okay, so what we're going to do is go into the Wi-Fi settings under the Arden uh, node that we're working in. I'm going to click on that. We're going to scroll down and we're going to see two different addresses. The server is the address for the HAP and the other uh, address is the address for the surface we're going to do is we're going to take that number and we're going to go back over to the phone and we're going to go ahead and, and just hit star direct IP dial and then we're going to punch that in remember we're using star for this and dial And we can see that it's pulling it up right there. So we can answer. A little echo, right? But uh, it's KH6ML. All right, so that's a little demo for you.